Hi everyone, welcome to another Pro Tools Tips and Tricks tutorial brought to you by Pro Media Training. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the Grabber tool and how you can use it and all of its sub-tool functions for editing audio, MIDI, and video clips within Pro Tools. Now, very simply put, the Grabber tool allows you to select by clicking with your mouse and dragging and dropping an audio clip or also MIDI and video clips anywhere in the timeline of your session. Now, keep in mind, as with all editing in Pro Tools, it does depend on the mode that you're working in. So always be aware if you're in shuffle, slip, spot, or grid, because this will affect how edits happen. For instance, in slip mode, I can use the grabber tool to simply click to select and drag and drop an audio clip anywhere in the timeline. Whereas with shuffle mode, if I try to do that, it will shuffle clips end to end and never let you overlap anything and just drop it randomly in time. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll be doing some of this in grid mode, which will allow me to move things around on a grid based on the tempo of my session. The first thing to note is that when you select a clip by simply clicking on it with your mouse, the entire clip gets selected beginning to end. If you need to select multiple clips, you can hold down the shift key and that allows you to extend your selection across the track or also across several tracks. When you click and drag, this allows you to move the audio clips to a new position in the timeline. When you move a clip, it allows you to do this across the track or to another track within the session. Now, one of the things that you can do with the Grabber tool is use some of its sub-tools by right-clicking on the tool and getting the drop-down list. The separation grabber is the next one in line. This one allows you to not only move a clip, but also to separate it at the same time. For example, if I have a selection within a clip and I wanted to move just the selected area, I would normally have to come up to the edit menu and choose to separate the clip at selection and then use the grabber tool to then move this clip to a new position in time. Let's undo that. By using the separation grabber, it actually does all this for you. You simply have a selection, you can just click, drag and drop, and it automatically separates that selection from the rest of the clip, allowing you to move it and create a new edit. The next subtool is known as the object grabber. What this allows you to do is to select each of the clips as an object and not associate the time between them. Notice how when I shift click on these different clips, it just selects the clips and not all the time between the clips as it normally would with the regular time-based grabber. Notice how it selects everything in between the clips. By using this object grabber, it allows me to just focus on the things that I want to select and then move them and maintain all their relative positions with one another. If you want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to check out our website, protoolstraining.com, for more tips and tricks articles, as well as class dates for upcoming Pro Tools training and certification courses.